it's an issue that we've been covering for several weeks, and this has just got to drive people crazy. Squatters staking claim to property they don't own, and landlords in the city say they can't get rid of these people. My tenants only pay me one month then. They know the game. They know after 30 days, you cannot evict them. No court case should go seven years. Why can't you just change the locks? Oh, I will be arrested instantly. So here you are. You have to pay the upkeep of the house. Right. I pay the and you're not getting any rent? I'm not getting any rent. I'm paying the gas and electric every month. Joining us now to discuss is Richard Esposito, CBS News law enforcement contributor and former NYPD deputy commissioner. Richard, great to talk. I love talking with you every week, Richard, because it seems like we hit on topics that drive me absolutely bonkers. And I know I'm speaking for a lot of people when I'm like, how is this possible for people who own property, who are trying to rent it out, to have these squatters come in and all of a sudden they just decide, you know what, we're not leaving and we're not paying and there's nothing you can do about it. It's one of those, Chris, it's mind-boggling to all of us. When you when you get a matter like that, it's it's like, why? what are we doing here? Why is it this way? Um, it's even murkier than that. It's not a criminal matter most of the time. It's a matter for civil court. And, and civil court um, is almost a misnomer because it's the slowest, most uncivil part of our system. You, you go in and you stay in for months and months trying to get your property back. It's a, it's a really, City Hall um, says they're talking to the city council. I spoke to them yesterday and um, they're trying to figure out what kind of new legislation might be able to remedy this. Um, and the police department's legal division, they're struggling with it too. Um, what do police do here? Well, that, you know, that, that's just it. What do police do? Aside from what do owners do? I mean, it, it really kind of, it goes to what we talk about all the time. Certain legislation that gets passed, who's writing these bills? And, and how do you get a group of sane people with decent IQs, elected officials to be like, you know what? I love that. Let's, you know, let's screw the homeowner and, and, and allow these vagrants or whomever to just basically camp out in this property and call it their own. So you call the police. You're a homeowner. This is happening. You call the police. What do police do? Police are in a real bind. Essentially, their hands are tied. What could happen is though somebody's, somebody's occupying your home illegally, staying through fraud, staying through force, st refusing to leave, and yet when police come, they can tell police, this person is trying to illegally convict me. And the police are in a situation where they know that's not true, but what are they going to do now? Handcuff the homeowner? because he's being accused under this statute. Um, and that's what's happened in a couple of cases. And that's what, and that's what is so mind-boggling. You heard from the one homeowner, and you're like, well, can't you just change the locks? And he's like, if I did, they'd arrest me. The squatters get to stay in my house, but the cops have to arrest me because I changed the law. I mean, it's just, it, it defies logic, to be quite honest with you. I mean, I think that's why, <laughs> that's why so, so many of us are just so frustrated with, with, with so many things that go on, whether it's statewide, citywide, uh, local municipalities, federal you know, law, things of that nature. So this 30-day threshold, so what's to say that people, you know, all over can't just, I'll pay the first month's rent, but once I hit that 30 days, boom, you're not seeing another dollar from me. Well, you know, that's, of course, this always affects small landowners, not, not small homeowners, not big ones. Um, and the 30-day threshold is meant for legal occupancy. So that's, that's how this came about. So to prevent someone who's legally in from not being immediately evicted, let's say they couldn't pay their rent right away. Most of these so-called squatters are illegal entrants, and they they should not be there at all. The trick is proving they're there illegally, yeah. and that's the burden the homeowners got, you know. And, and let me ask you this: You said you've been speaking with some people, you know, about the city council about changing something. How quickly can something like that be? Or how quickly can they move on something like this? Because some of the homeowners we've spoken with have been in civil court for three years. Yeah, this, this is when they need to move quickly. And, and, you know, when they do need to move quickly, they can. Um, and I think this is one, while it's rare, but it's terrifying to the homeowner. So they need to move quickly. And, and the police department is in the situation of, you know, how do we weave through this thicket? That's what they're talking about. You know, they have a big legal division and they're trying to figure out, you know, Here's another one. What's our role? This is, um, you know, what, what's the role of police in this? It's a, it's a real challenge, but it needs to be, like you said, 
if people are sane, if they're intelligent, you think that the legislative people can do this quickly um, and just change this law immediately. Yeah, I, I guess we should probably not be so naive, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, you don't have to watch television for more than about 10 minutes to know that we've elected some people that probably don't deserve to be in the positions that they're in. Um, yeah, Richard, the <laughs> thank you. it's a little crazy out there, no matter what side of the aisle you fall on. <laughs> Richard, thank you very much once again. Good to talk Thanks, with you, Chris. and we will talk with you soon. <laughs> you Richard, you Esposito. always a good time bye -bye. to talk to Richard. Uh,